Hello. Today we're going to be turning Jack Daniels into vinegar. Because I feel like it. So we're going to start this off with a quick drink. Ah. Woo. And then we're going to go into fractional distillation. With this we're hoping to separate the alcohol from the 11 herbs and spices in the Jack Daniels. Once it's separated I gave it the good old smell test and it still smelled like Jack Daniels. So I put it through two more times. After that I was confident what we had was mostly just ethanol. We then add 15 milliliters of it to about 40 milliliters of water. And we follow it up with some sodium hydroxide. I add some more off camera. Then with stirring we begin to add a stoichiometric amount of potassium permanganate. What's happening here is the potassium permanganate is oxidizing the alcohol to an aldehyde and then to a carboxylic acid, which gives us vinegar. You'll notice when I add the purple potassium permanganate, it quickly changes to blue, and then the blue starts to go back to brown. This color shift happens when the manganese ions change oxidation states. Next I go to filter off the brown manganese dioxide that's left over. So now what I have is a mix of water, ethanol, vinegar, and sodium hydroxide. So to remove the ethanol, I boil off the remaining liquid, and then I add some water back. Now interestingly, this does not smell like vinegar at all. It's completely odorless. But then when I add some sulfuric acid, boom, instant smell of vinegar. This is because the basic sodium hydroxide was keeping the vinegar in the form of sodium acetate. The second we added the sulfuric acid, it kickstarted a double displacement reaction that gave us our vinegar and white sodium sulfate. So finally, to remove the remaining sulfuric acid and sodium sulfate, we do another distillation. And after this, we're left with water and acetic acid, otherwise known as vinegar. You'll notice testing for the pH, we have a pH of about two and a half which is right in line with what we should expect. At this stage, you can definitely smell the vinegar. This stuff stinks. And from this point, to do a proper send-off, I think a vinegar and baking soda volcano is in order. Eh, that was kind of lame. But hey, at least it worked.